At the very beginning of your life, what you managed to do was to create a structure called the blastocyst. What you did was to start from a fertilized egg and transform into this structure, which is called the blastocyst. This is what's going to implant you into the uterus of your mother. And all of you did that, and some of you actually did that in a petri dish under the careful watch of a doctor. And even though we've watched this process happening a million times, we still don't know exactly how this is happening. What we want to understand in the lab is how this structure is formed. And this is a project that is going to be funded by the ERC. What we are carefully looking into is how this specific architecture is built, how it's shaped, how it's carved. And for this, we want to understand what are the forces which are pushing, pulling, bending the cells and sticking them together so that they build this very specific architecture. And in the lab, to study those forces, uh, we are using biophysical tools and we are using the mouse embryo, which is a mammal just like us, and which create a blastocyst which is very similar in its architecture uh, to the one that uh, we made. And if you want to measure forces uh, in, a, in a living organism, um, you want to measure very, very, very small forces. And we want to be able to measure them while the embryo is developing. We don't want to damage the embryo. So we develop um, non-invasive um, biophysical methods to measure the forces that the cells are generating within the developing embryos. So we're going to measure uh, how tense the cells are, how much pressure there is inside the cells and inside the embryo. We're going to measure how strong the adhesion between cells uh, uh, is, and we're going to measure the viscosity of the cells. Once we know this, we will study the genes which are important for generating those forces and controlling those forces. And with this, we will get a complete understanding of the morphogenesis of the blastocyst, the shaping of the mammalian embryo. Uh, and this will also be useful uh, for um, developing tools which will tell us more about embryos which develop in vitro uh, in the hopes that we could also help developing techniques which um, improve uh, assisted reproductive technologies.